Watch. Real time shifting. Hang on. I just looked at your board. You had that we're almost at 9,000K. Yeah, 9,000 subscribers. 9,000. <laughs> right? Yeah, 9,000. Not 9,000K. 9,000K? No. 9,000K is. No, 9K. Oh, 9K. Yeah, that... not 9,000K. We're at, we're at 9,000,000. <laughs> we're at uh, 9,000. Uh, almost 9,000. That would be 9 million. Yeah, not 9,000K. That was uh, my fault. All right, real time shift. Two teabag Johnson PG 13. PG-13. Now, welcome to another special, spectacular Wolf Tick Videos episode. Woo! Now, quit hitting me with the Geo hand guard. Now, on today's episode, yeah, this is the almost 9,000 subscriber <laughs> bike. Almost. Woo! Almost. Almost 9,000 subscriber We're bike. We're almost We've there. been sitting on this XR Pro Mongoose. We're going to break in here very shortly. Yeah, for about uh, over a week. We've been sitting on it for a little over a week now. And the reason we're almost 9,000 is because we told the Wolf Stick Nation, hey, we're going to come out with a Sunday video. And, uh... We're like, well, we're close enough to 9,000. Let's yeah. go ahead and break, let's go ahead and bust it out. We're going to break into the spike and we're going to do the initial impressions. We're going to weigh it for you guys. We're going to kind of talk about some of the specs with it, wheel size, what the tires look like, the bar. We're not going to get caught up on one thing in particular. Though. Yeah, we're going to have a. We're whole... not going to get caught up on the damn head tube angle. Yeah, we're not going to get caught up with I that. I could not give less of a. <laughs> of the head tube yeah. angle. Yeah, guys, we're not a fancy channel. We're not no. professionals, but what we do is we get these and mountain bikes. And we're not good enough riders to give it. <laughs> yeah, we get these mountain bikes and we enjoy ourselves. We get out to the trails, meet some really cool people that are like minded with what we do, and uh, we and, enjoy it. And you know? bags. Yeah, and some <laughs> bags, you know? I'm going to do a little stand over on it. I'm 5'5. Five five. We're going to see who this bike is really sized for. But before we get into talking about that bike, we've got a couple of announcements. Now, you see the little Geo handguard he's been smacking me with here. Yeah. Now, our buddies at Geo handguard, the helmet for your hands. Yep, helmet for your hands. <laughs> All about safety, keeping your hands safe, keeping your... Keeping me safe from a... Uh... Uh huh. Keeping your controls and all that stuff safe you on your mountain your bike. Already? Yeah, we are going to be doing a giveaway. So if you would like to get your hands protected by a pair of Geo hand guards, the and helmet for your hands. They're very nice quality, as uh, you can see there. Yeah, and I, I like the. They, yeah. they work. They're multi-purpose. Multi-purpose. Beat your kids with them. Yeah. Now, uh, don't do that. That's illegal. <laughs> or at least don't do it. And tell anybody about it. Anyway. Yeah, I think if we hit 300 likes. By Tuesday, we should go ahead and throw in some. Uh, do a double. Do the yeah, double do, step two. Yeah, do it. Do it. Draw for the hand guards and draw for the pedals. Okay, well check it out. If you guys want to win some pedals, now these are pedals from our buddies at Kemi Moto. They sent us these last Friday. Three bearing CNC aluminum pedals. They sent us a couple we'll for. Uh, yeah, we'll put a link. Now they put a couple of extras in here for a giveaway. So uh, Kemi Moto. If you guys want to get your hands on some Kemi Moto pedals, not space food. Not space food. And uh, some Geo hand guards. Comment you'd like to be entered in the drawing. And again, if this video gets 300 likes by Tuesday, we'll do uh, we'll throw in the pedals, right, for the giveaway yes. as well. So we're doing the Geo hand guards no matter what. No matter what. And then we're pedals. doing the pedals if we hit 300. If likes. we hit 300. Now, some more goodies. This here is uh, Wolf Tick videos from Berserker Nick, one of our big supporters of the channel. And last week. We had you guys go to his channel so you could see our new stickers. Now, Berserker's doing a pretty cool thing for his community. Uh, a bunch of guys are getting together, and uh, they are looking at doing a pump track from Iowa. Well, a pump track in Iowa. His hometown of Iowa. Yeah. In Iowa. Yeah. Okay, so this is uh, all raffle proceeds will be donated to the Fort Dodge BMX Pump Track Project in Iowa. Eastern Pater BMX raffle, ten dollars per ticket or three for twenty-five. Get your tickets now and enter to win. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is pretty damn sweet. Yeah, and uh, it is all sponsored by Walker's Bike Shop in Fort Dodge, Iowa. So uh, awesome. Walker's Bike Shop, Berserker Nick, all you guys out there that How have something to do Fort with this Dodge? raffle, it's huge. All of you guys have something to do with this raffle. Thank you guys so much, man. That's awesome what you're doing for the community. And uh, hopefully it gets built and there's a bunch of kids out there. We might not have to go check it out. Would you say we go ahead and break into, get into this world famous XR Pro? It's It, it, has, a, it has a history and a following, that's for sure. Yeah. Let's it, break into it. All right. 
You ready? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm... Oh wow, dude! No okay. quick release. Oh, you can right away the initial first gasp of things. I'm gonna say right now, I already love the color. The color is great. Love this the up color. here looks awesome. All right. Okay. Um, quick release love on the rear. The quick release on the rear. Ah! Ah! Okay, so that moth. You're getting, that you're getting a <laughs> moth. This is a moth, really? Yeah. I mean, oh, you gotta be kidding. No. No. It's got a WTB seat. Look at the damn seat. Wow. Look at the texture on there. Dude, that is pretty cool. I'm not mean, a huge fan of WTB stuff or their, their customer service. No, we're like stuff, just not the customer service. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty cool uh, WTB branded seat. Even got like a rubber fill back here. That's pretty nice. That's did a 27.2 uh, seat post tube. Okay. 27.2. Did you uh, see the fork there? I did see that. That's exciting. Now, we'll show you guys the fork here in a little bit. All we can see is a little tag that says SR Sun Tour on the fork. Oh, whoa. We'll take a look at all this stuff later. Dude, that top tube uh -huh. design. And look, uh -huh. it's got some cool print stuff up there. Yeah. Oh, dude. dude. Let's bring a light in here. An SR Suntour fork. The shock doesn't really have any kind of brand on it. It's going to need a shock. Real yeah, shock. It's going to need a shock. But I can't wait to see if this actually has some... If it actually has movement that's like feels good. The tiramisu feels terrible. It doesn't even feel, it feels like you're sitting on some concrete. The sandstorm feels decent. The, sand, the sandstorm actually feels like you're using yeah. it. So this is going to be fun to jump on the cat's meow. Yeah. A zoom stem. Really? What the hell? A zoom stem. Is it long enough? Good Damn. lord. All right, let's get on the floor and build it up. We'll show you guys. Well, we're going to be set with spacers. Damn. So let's go ahead and break into the group set that this bike comes we with. We broke into it. Or we're it's continuing. Broke. It's broke into. Let's continue to talk about it. Now, as soon as I started unwrapping the bars and grips, I seen Saram. It has a Saram X4 you Impulse group set. How crazy is that? It, Saram. It's, it's, it's crazy. We it's crazy. A, we haven't seen a bike yet like that. And what's cool about these shifters, the Saram X4 shifters, is uh, both the left and the right do have display windows for some of those riders out there that are really, you know, that care about having a display window so you can actually see what gear you're in. And I didn't think that was that big of a deal, but doing a real-time review on a bike and not knowing what gear you're in is kind of a pain in the butt because the Axum DP is not like that. You, now, know, you, you don't have a window. You don't. You, so you don't have letters to deal with, but you definitely don't have numbers all the way through. You have numbers on either end. Yeah, you got little and notches. Then in between. Yeah. 24 speed, the rear derailleur is an X4 uh, derailleur. No clutch or anything fancy like that. And the cassette is an 8 speed. What's and then the, we got the, the three. Teeth on it? It's an 11 to 32 tooth. Okay. And the front chain rings, I wrote them down. It's so a 42 tooth, a 32 tooth, and a 22 tooth. Wow. And there's something really cool about this Suntour XCT crank set uh, that I will talk about here in a second. Okay. But uh, when we're talking about this cassette back here, it's actually a free hub. And it's got a quick release back here on the wheel. It's a free hub. So it's not, not a free, free wheel. wheel. So we can literally just go out, get a group set, and slap it right on this bike, just without like the Axe DP, without having to get a new rear wheel. Now, something I'm not too big on is the crank arms are 175 millimeters long. You mentioned. Uh, and this is a 29 or so. I'm just hoping with the standover, when I get to riding on it, it's not going to feel, my legs aren't that long. That's not going to feel all crazy long to me uh, but they're 175 millimeters they are aluminum but the chain ring area here with the spider i think that's the uh the technical term for this is what excites me now i've got some uh, demonstrations over here all right this here is a crank arm with uh the three by up front this was off of the aluminum comp zerker 
right? Oh, it, now this is something that you get similar with the GT Aggressor Pro. We've got so many questions on that bike. Hey man, I want to switch my bike to a one by. I want to make it a one by. Um, can I unscrew one of my chain rings or both of my chain rings mm -hmm. and just keep one? And the answer on the Aluminum Comp Zerker, on the GT Aggressor Pro, both three speeds when they come out are the three chain rings up front. You can't do that because they're made to look like they're actually hex bolts up there, but they're welded together, riveted together. What's very cool about this bike is the Spider, you can actually take these bolts out and you can make this thing a one by. With the stock, With the stock chain. crank arms. Now the crank arms are probably uh, square tapered, you know, what some people are Looks against. Like it, yeah. So, I mean, you're not gonna have a hollow bottom bracket and all that, but you can buy this bike. You can take off this front micro shift derailleur. You is can it micro -shift? unscrew it's a micro shift. You can unscrew these chain rings and get yourself a chain ring for what? 13 bucks, 14 bucks. You think so? Slap it on there and you can make this thing a one by. You think so? You can do it. Now let's go ahead and talk about the wheels. The wheels are, the tires are unbranded, but they're 29 by 2.10. I don't like that. They're a little thin. I was looking at the spacing you know on the sides. You know what's funny? I kind of like it. You kind of like it? I do. The tread design is really cool. The tread design actually mm -hmm. excites me. It does look like clay, loose gravel. Um, you know, the real nasty, you swept out dirt like on the cat's meow. It looks like it's going to get some traction. We're going to okay. find out in the real time review. But what doesn't excite me, it's only a 2.1 to front. Up there, we're going to talk about it. But the spacing with the crown, it only looks like you maybe fit like a 2.4, maybe a 2.6. But the rear back here, you might get a 2.4 and nothing wider than that. I like wide tires, but it's pretty tight back here. Uh, let's talk about the brakes. What brand is on the brake lever up there? On the brake lever, it says Pro Max. Pro Max. So we've got a Pro Max front and rear disc brakes. They're both 160 millimeters. And one thing I do like about the calipers is they're actual full rectangular calipers as opposed to those real cheap ones that you normally see from big box stores. This bike here comes with something like that, which everybody's pretty much used to. So a little more contact on the rotor. Before we talk about the front of the bike, let's talk about the shock and then the seat post. Okay. Now, uh, and the seat. Uh, we mentioned earlier, it's a WTB Speed 5 seat which is kind of Cinco. bulky, you know? Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's a name brand seat. Let's see how the wear and tear goes over time. Yeah. It is a little bulky and simple looking. The um, zoom, looks good. The zoom, zoom, zoom seat post tube is a 27.2 mm -hmm. and it's aluminum, you know? But again, it's got that name brand on there, Zoom, which is pretty mm -hmm. cool. Uh, the rear shock does not have any type of branding on it. I did measure it as much as I could with the caliper tool, and it looks like it's about 40 millimeters of travel. And even that, I don't even think would be right because once that fully collapses on that coil, mm. it's gonna not even have that much, yeah. I don't think. So we'll find out in the real-time review, and that's gonna be something that I'm really looking forward to upgrading. I know we've got a rear shock sitting over there. I think we might use it on the Temasaur. Yeah, it's supposed to be on the Tiramisu. Yeah, but we don't know, you know. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the front of the bike now, the bars, grips, forks, the stem. Stem, let's talk about that first. That is a massive freaking stem, is it not? 90 millimeters That's, long. That stem's gaudy. It's, it's massive. A, it's huge. It's, it's huge. It's a zoom stem, 90 millimeters long. It's got a 10 degree rise on it. It is a four bolt, but that damn thing's massive. Did I you mean, say 26? Yeah, 26 inches it's on the bars. It's a 660 millimeter. 660. So we've got a 660 bar up there, approximately, and that's with the grips on there. Four bolt stem, as we just mentioned, and the bars look really similar. They are shorter, but they do look similar. They're gloss to the um, Axum DPs. You know, yeah, the flat, flat design board, yeah. almost looks just like it, as a matter of fact. Uh, the grips, not too impressed with them. They're just mongoose, regular branded grips, like the uh, Malice grips. I guess. I do wish that they were lock on grips. I kind of like them. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about the forks. This was something, as soon as I seen it inside the box, I got excited about SR Suntour XCT 28 forks. The well, stanchions are 100. Now, the stanchions, okay? The stanchions, not, not, the, travel. not the travel. Not the saying that this is how much travel, but I'm going to bottom this fork out. I can pretty much guarantee that on the cat's meow. But uh, it's 109 millimeters of exposed stanchion. Mm -hmm. They are 30 millimeters wide. And a cool thing about this bike is it does have preload knobs both um, on the left and the right side of the uh, stanchions. Pretty much the same fork that they put on the GT Aggressor Pro, just a 29er version, and I'm sure just a little bit newer. Let's do some shifting. Let's shift it. You're going to play with the forks a little bit. I'm curious to see if there's any difference on there. Shift it. We'll play with the forks, and then we're going to weigh this thing. Let's shift it right out of the box. All right, right out of the box. Right. Two. Okay, you're in two. Don't stop. Three. You're in three. Four. Four. Five. five six, six. Come on. Seven. And eight. Holy crap. Now all the way back up. Alright. Do you want to do multiple clicks or one? No, click? just go up fast. 
So, not so, multiple clicks. Okay. One. Well, it'd be, it'd be seven. Six. Oh, uh -oh. A little chattery back there. A little extra, mm -hmm. extra bump. A little extra bump. Okay, extra bump was given. No, nope, do it again. Another extra bump given. Okay. That one went. Uh, bump. Give it a bump. Uh, up and bump. I have okay. to do bumps on just about all of them, and then that one didn't even. Okay, now the uh, rear wasn't too bad. Uh, we're not going to go through all three of them, but let's go ahead and uh, see how the front chain ring, uh, the micro shift front derailleur does. Now, is it a set position or is it uh, all by friction? Just, oh, I Jesus. Just, I just hit it down. Let me go back down. Okay. This looks like it's set. Okay. That's a shift. That's, oh, that's a shift. That's a click. It's like that's a click, that's a click. And then Jeez. going back up, watch this. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, I mean. It's a it's, little mixture. A little mixture. Go ahead and go back down. You definitely can hear it. It's kind of a mixture. Yeah, kind of a mixture. Okay, well, it looks like the shifting department is there, surprisingly. It's, it's not It's not as bad as some of them. Yeah, it's not terrible. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, most of the time we have to... You'll be able to dial it in once I have to go tested. on the trails with crap most of the time. But, I mean, it didn't, didn't shift that bad. So the uh, micro shift did okay, and so did the Ceramax 4 uh, derailleur in the back. Pluto. All right, let's play with the forks a little bit, and then let's yeah. weigh this thing. All right, sounds good. All right, so we're going to go to the negative. Oh, there's some clicks. No, it's clicky. It feels pretty... Pretty stiff? No, it feels pretty loose. Pretty loose? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, positive side? Yeah, a little bit on that. A little bit more, so it yeah. kind of works, I guess. Yeah, they're just it's not just These great. things right here are so crappy when it comes to the clicks on them. Yeah, like, I don't know. And you don't know where they're at in there. I don't even know how it works. We'll try it one more time. You'll have to mess with it. Yeah, I'll have to mess with it some more, but it kind of works, kind of doesn't. Yeah. Uh, being on the trails, I have not had good luck with these, but anyway, let's do a standover height with me. Yeah, let's do that. All right, standover height. Okay, so first initial impression on the standover height. Definitely there's no two to three inches between the crotch and the top two. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm riding it, you know what I mean? I'm riding it pretty good right now. Yeah. But I will say I can be flat footed and not, I'm not going to say comfortable, but I'm a lot more comfortable than on, say, the large Axum. I'm not singing soprano. I'm flat footed right now. So I feel uh, I could probably catch myself if I was going to fall. You know, it's not it's not terrible. Anyway, standover height isn't too bad. <sighs> let's weigh this thing and then we'll do our outro. Yeah. I think the bike is going to weigh somewhere around 38. Yeah, I'm going 37. 37? Okay, I'm going to go 38. All right. XR Pro Mongoose 29er. She's Ooh. a heavy beast. She's a heavy girl. 38.84 pounds. I think the last full suspension that we did was 36. Well, the Tiramisu wasn't 40 pounds or whatever. Yeah, I think Tiramisu is 40, and I think the Sandstorm was 36 or somewhere around there. Awesome. I mean, 38, I think we can maybe get this bike down to 33, 32 pounds. It's going to be fun. I know that coil forks probably a whole bunch. And one thing that I'm surprised with that uh, it doesn't have as a kickstand. Yeah. Yeah, we'll I mean, figure. it probably would have been a good 48 or 49 pounds had it had a kickstand. But, all right, well, uh, let's get this thing on the floor, and then we'll talk about it a little bit, and uh, we'll do our outro. Well, guys, we appreciate you watching our initial impressions on it. Yeah. Make sure you guys turn notifications on, subscribe, do all that good stuff so you can see us take this and thing down to Cat's Meow. Make sure, you, if you guys want to be entered in the drawing, make sure you go down there and just say, hey, I'd like to be entered in the drawing, or enter me, please, or whatever you want yeah, to say. Yeah, thanks for me Yeah, get that, get that over here real quick. Mm -hmm. That way, you'd be entered for these, uh, these... Geo hand, Geo guards. hand guards. The helmet for your hands, our pals at Geo. Yeah. You guys managed Thank for that. Thank you to them. And uh, we'll be doing the pedal giveaway, too. If two. we hit... 300 likes by Tuesday. By Tuesday. 300 likes by Tuesday. We're throwing in some Kenny Moto pedals as well. well anyway, like guys, uh, as always, man, Wolf Tick videos, we appreciate you. If you guys would like to go down to the description below and uh, buy us a cup of coffee, if you buy us five cups of coffee for every five cups bought, you'll get a new Wolf Tick videos rad sticker. And if you don't, buy five cups or more and you're just like hey i want to support a little bit then we will send you a wolf tick videos regular old school sticker so we still give them an old school sticker if they buy us five cups along with that yeah yeah okay. we'll, i usually throw in two or three so. uh, yeah definitely um would you say we upgrade this bike whoa 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 whoa
You, you know we, we can't do upgrades you say we, until you test it. What you say it? we upgrade it with a sticker? Uh, that, that, no, because you know like the captain This will make says, you fly higher. If you put that sticker on there, there's a good chance you fly right off the trail because mm -hmm. it yeah. just makes you jump higher and further. And go faster.